Hi everyone, uh, so what I'm going to be looking at with you next is the structure of this graphite just here. Now with the graphite, what we've got to begin with are hexagonal layers of carbon atoms. So you can see we've got hexagons just there. I can look through them for you, which is um, incredibly awkward. Um, what we've also got between the layers though are these little purple connectors. These are London forces. Now the London forces hold the layers together, so hold one layer to the next, but they aren't a bond, they're an intermolecular force. You need to look at the London forces intermolecular force video if you want to know more about those. Now the carbons here, if you just have a look at them closely, just there, you can see that each carbon is trigonal planar, which means the carbons are bonded to three other carbon atoms within the layers, and then they've got the London forces between. Now, between the layers, what we've also got are delocalized electrons. So each carbon here has actually got four valence electrons, three in bonds, and one becomes delocalized between the layers here. What that means is, is just like a metal, carbon in this form, graphite, can actually conduct electricity. We've even got, for a practical you'll do in your second year of the course, a graphite electrode, which you're going to use to make the equivalent of a small battery. Now, graphite is very soft as a material, but don't let that trick you into thinking that it's going to boil or melt very easily at all. It's soft because the London forces between these layers are very easily broken. So one layer can remove easily from another. But when we melt or boil, we're not just separating out the layers from each other. What we're also doing with this giant covalent lattice structure is we're also going to have to break the covalent bonds. And that takes a massive amount of energy. So just because graphite is a soft material, you use it in pencils, for instance, don't let that trick you into thinking it has a low melting and boiling point.